Ryan Reynolds has not only overcome his shyness and sensitivity but actually managed to turn it into a strength that has propelled him into superstardom. In this video I will show you how Ryan Reynolds and others have managed to harness their natural sensitive side and use it to move them forward rather than hold them back. You will also discover how to approach your sensitive side to turn it into your superpower. And stay till the end while we reveal our secret sensitive star who manages to not only kick ass but also be sensitive at the same time. And this clip I have to show you, he just drops the smoothest line you've ever heard. We're doing it all right now here on Unpack with Jack. I read that you were overly sensitive and nervous as a kid and that you struggled with shyness and social anxiety. Yeah. How did that, how, well, was still, it, how bad was I it? I still struggle with those, those same things. As challenging as they are and, and, and you know, they, they're also gifts that come with those things. My dad was a very tense guy and you know, I used to sort of describe him as like a skin covered landmine. I attribute some of the, why I'm good at my job from that, I'm perceptive. I watch carefully for danger <laughs> and you know, as an adult that can really come in hand. I was able to kind of constantly mimic people or watch people and look for tiny signs and big signs of you know, Danger. So he talks briefly about growing up in this environment where he had to kind of be on guard for these perceived threats, whether they were real or imaginary. And his sensitivity towards that caused him to be almost hyper perceptive and look at people and copy them and mimic them. And that contributed to his acting career. Let's stop and take a minute to consider what it even means to be a sensitive person and why are some of us so sensitive. For that, we need Dr. Gabor Mate. Sensitivity is simply a trait that people tend to be born with. And the more sensitive you are, the word sens sensitivity itself comes from the Latin word for feeling. For the sense here means to feel. So the more sensitive you are, the more you feel. Estimates are that 15 to 20% of us are HSPs, highly sensitive people. And it's just something you're born like. I mean, it can only really be a good thing to feel more, right? Right? Wrong. But the same sensitivity also makes them more susceptible to pain. <sighs> I knew there was a catch. More susceptible to pain. As a counsellor in my work, I've talked to many people that felt that they were too sensitive, that it was ultimately causing them too much pain. And I think a lot of the time they were ignoring the fact that, yeah, more sensitive people do feel more pain, but they also feel more of the other stuff. Yeah. You're a sensitive guy. Yeah, I'm sensitive. I've always been that way. <laughs> There's a song that I cannot listen to without crying, and I'm, I'm not even saying it's a joke. It's an Elton John song called The Greatest Discovery, written through the eyes of a two-year-old about the birth of his brother, and it's it will <sighs> blow your mind. I can't, no, I can't even talk about it. I listened to that song, by the way, and, and I welled up. I did. And it's not a sad song, it's a, it's a happy song, if anything. But I think songs are a really good example of how we can really feel that sensitivity, even if it's a happy song. There's another song that I like, it's called Please Subscribe and Give This Video A Like. <coughs> Writer and actor Larry David, maybe not so obviously a sensitive person, but I think he is. Let's have a watch of this. I just notice uh, things, um, I don't know, maybe other people don't. Th things impact me more. Things impact him more. I think that really does encapsulate the sentiments of a sensitive person. Here's Larry David talking about a now famous story where he first went to do stand-up. I got up on stage and I kind of looked him over and I went, I don't think so. <laughs> and I left. I think that despite the sometimes quite destructive nature of Larry David's sensitivity, it still led him to create two of the arguably best observational sitcom comedies of all time. The point that I'm trying to make here is that the Reynolds, the Davids, the Galifianakis of the world, they're almost attuned in a higher frequency to maybe some other people that aren't as sensitive. It's like this ability to kind of see the truth in its purest form. It's just like they have these antenna out that just pull in energies like some kind of empathic praying mantis. Okay, so how do we use our sensitivity for good and not evil? How do we harness it to propel us forward rather than something that we feel like we need to get rid of? So when you get sensitivity combined with trauma or stress, you get a lot more need to protect yourself. Hence the high rate of addiction amongst say, uh, actors and musicians. That same sensitive temperament in a supportive, loving environment just becomes a wonderful creative leader. So if exposed to trauma and stress, our sensitivity is stifled and it becomes somewhat a destructive force. However, if we are supportive and loving towards our sensitivity, it can blossom and flourish into a warm flower. I think that regardless of our past, we can create our own loving, accepting, 
nurturing internal environment for our own sensitivity we can approach it in a different way and not see it as a weakness but as a strength or at least something that we could become more curious in it's showing us something it's trying to shed a light and illumination on the world even though sometimes it can be an absolute fucking drag there's nothing wrong with you to be a sensitive person that cares a lot that takes things in in a deep way is actually part of what makes you amazing and is one of the greatest gifts of life is that you think a lot and you feel a lot you feel deeply and it's the best like it's not you to the trade-off i wouldn't trade it for the world even when it's in really you know when there are really hard times now i'm certainly not saying that we all can become actors or famous comedians in order to really use our sensitivity but perhaps if we do embrace it and we do see it as a positive rather than a negative, we can metabolize it into some form of art. If it's just a hobby, if it's a painting, if it's music, if it's a YouTube video, maybe it can even be nourished into a new vocation, a helping profession perhaps. But what do you think? Are you a sensitive person? Is that why you clicked on this video? Do you see it as a positive or a negative or a bit of both? Do please let me know in the comment section below because I really do always enjoy reading other people's perspectives. It's how I learn. Now, of course, it's time to reveal our secret sensitive star. The one and only Keanu Reeves. Roll the clip. I'm so, not a fighter, I'm a lover. I don't know, no, because if you're a lover, you gotta be a fighter. How so? Because if you don't fight for your love, what kind of love do you have? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> as smooth as Tennessee whiskey. Ah, <sighs> Keanu. I wanna unpack that with Jack. Be right back.